Hi guys! So I have finally decided to do an updated Party in My Pants cloth pad review. I've been using Party in My Pants for over a year now and I must say these are my go-to pads if I'm going out anywhere because they are so freaking thin. Now I don't really wear these around the house as often just because I like um, almost saving them for when I go out. Um, but definitely my favorite go out pad ever. Um, I will be buying more, but right now I only have 12, which is a good bit because these are definitely pricey pads. I think the cheapest one is around $9.99, but they're worth it. And just stay and watch the review, trust me. Don't let the price turn you away. Um, and they are expensive, but they are the best and definitely the thinnest pads I own. Um, that being said, I will just jump into what I have. Um, to start off with, I will say my stash has changed a smidge since my last video. I had a small pad, which is 7 inches long, 2 inches wide, that I have given away since then just because I found that I wasn't using it um, and I gave it to my sister just because she actually usually uses menstrual cups and that size of pad is good for a backup for her. For me it's, it's just too small. Now to start with the options. These pads come in flannel, cotton, and organic. Um, I think organic is like a dollar or something more. Um, and you can also get an extra snap if you think that they don't fit tight enough around. And you can get a snap extender. I'll show you what it is. I actually use it with one of my pads. It's right like this. It snaps on and it will extend the wing size to make it just a little bit wider in the middle. And I love that option. Um, so many different sizes. I'm not even sure how many different sizes they have. I think it's like 8 or 10. I only have 5 other sizes. But I've tried out um, a total of 7. It's just one of their, um, like, the smallest liner. Not the phone liner, but the next smallest, which I can't remember what it's called. Um, I tried out that and it was just a bit smaller for my taste and then of course the small pad. However, the pads I do have, the Lux liners, I have three of these and I love them. They are nine and a half inches long, three inches wide, super, super thin, adorable prints, um, and I use these since I don't wear a liner every day because I, I really don't need to, um, I track my cycles. So I'm, I'm not really ever surprised, um, so to speak. I, I pretty much know when AF um, or the period fairy is going to show up. So these I really only use if, I'm sorry if this is too much information, if I'm ovulating if I am spotting, or if I have a really light flow. These are amazing, and I love them. They fit so well. They um, shape really well to your body. I know some women have complained about um, them slipping around, but I've noticed the people that really complain about that have only tried the free sample liner. And if you haven't heard about that, Party in my pants, if you have never ordered from them before, you can get a free liner. You just have to pay for shipping. And I think it's like 3 or $4. Um, maybe less, but I, I don't think it would be any more. And that, you can choose any liner size. You don't get to choose your fabric. This is the one I chose. It's an interesting fabric. I actually really like it just because it's different. But I know so many people have got so many gorgeous prints, and 
all for free. You just have to pay for shipping. And I know a lot of the people that just try out a liner don't like it. And I will admit, I don't like their smaller liners, but I love their Lux liners. And another thing I really like about this company, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, yeah, kind of. They put the size right there on the tag, which I love. It drives me crazy when companies don't do that. So I have three of the Lux liners. I have one medium pad. This is $12.99, and it's 10 inches long, 2 and a half inches wide when snapped. But I found that this is just a little bit too narrow for me, unless I'm light. Um, but if I'm wearing this with a moderate flow, I put on the snap extender. And it's very easy to put this on it. And then it makes it wider, so it's almost more like a large pad. And I love this. Um, this pad holds a ton. I wear this for light and for regular flow. Next are my large pads. All of these, um, except for this one, have all been worn multiple times. I don't have any stain issues. And the reason I haven't worn this one yet is it's one of their new Halloween prints, and I just got it in the mail. I mean, that is gorgeous. I love this print. It's so freaking cute. And again... Super cute fabric when they're turned the right way. In little I guess chip box? Yeah, chip box. And my owls. And this is one of the very first pads I purchased. I've had this one over a year. No staining. Um it still looks brand new. I mean it's amazing. And this is cotton top. Flannel again, gorgeous print. Gorgeous print. This is flannel and this is cotton. And these pads are ten and a half inches long, three inches wide, and twelve ninety nine. Gorgeous. Um, they rinse out really well. I just use a bunch of farmer stain stick, use a dry pill, and then wash them with my thin rock, and they turn out beautifully. They still look new. Now the flannel does have a bit of wear, but this pen is at least six months old. I wore this um, multiple times each cycle in the beginning and at least once every cycle since then. Um, and I pre-washed it like four times and it's still looking really good. And for a flannel, that's amazing. No stains, um, nothing. It looks, it's just it's perfect for flannel because as you guys know flannel does tend to kind of look used first so to speak um, between like minky and cotton and even velours flannel will definitely start to show age before any of the other ones will now my next pad this is the only super pad I own but it holds a ton. And I'll show you. This is the large, freaking, freaking thin, amazingly thin. This, I compared it to an always ultra thin. This one right here is actually thinner. I don't know how they do it. Um, cotton top, it's, they don't really specify what exactly the core is made up of. Um, but it's some type of cotton, and I'm not sure if it's cotton fleece, co just regular cotton. I don't know, but it's so absorbent. And then, of course, nylon backed, which is completely waterproof. Right here, this is my one super pad. This is $13.99. It's 10 and a half inches long, 3 inches wide, so the same size as a large. It's just a little bit thicker. Actually, it's a good bit thicker. I'll compare the two for you. Right there. You can see it's a little bit thicker. This is just a little bit thicker than an always maxi or an always ultra thin. It is so much thinner than a wax. Uh, 
nasty pad. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, I love this pad. I actually, I had a test for at school that ran over, and it was a four-hour lecture class um, that we had a test in for the whole class, um, and it ran over. So I'd say it was like a four-hour, four-and-a-half-hour test probably, and I didn't have time to go to the bathroom between classes. I ended up wearing this like six and a half hours before I got to change it. And it held everything on a heavy day. This holds so much. You just would not believe how much this thing holds. Two Diva Cups, and it could probably still hold more during my absorbency test. This thing is amazing. I don't know how they do it, but it's amazing. Next, this is the biggest pad I own. It's called the Queen. It's huge. It's 15 and a half inches long and three and a half inches wide when snapped. This is the biggest pad I own out of all of my pads. <laughs> this could probably absorb a tidal wave. I'm not kidding you guys. And it's so, 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 so thin. I, I really don't understand how they do it. It's a little bit thinner than the super and a little bit thicker than the large. So like right between. And <laughs> this holds. Oh my god. Postpartum. I am definitely going to be ordering more of these when I get pregnant. They're on my what I call my postpartum wish list, which I actually will be posting um later. I'm not sure tonight, but definitely probably like in the next week I'll be posting that. These have two snaps. They stay in place really well. They conform to your body. They're um, like not stiff, but not like super flimsy either. They are like perfect. Um, super thin. Definitely love this pad. Um, definitely getting more when I am pregnant for postpartum. Um, it's amazing. All of my pads. I love from Party in My Pants. There's just, there's not a thinner pad out there. They are amazing. Um, I really do love them. You'll notice they, if you have looked at Party in My Pants in the past um, or are a fan of their Facebook or on Facebook rather, they kind of change prints fairly often, um, I'd say they get probably a new print every month or a new couple, and I definitely um, will be adding to my larges because that is the pad I wear when I'm going out somewhere. And of course my clothes. So this is my party in my pants stash. It's all I have right now. Um, I do plan on adding to it in the future. It's just right now, um, I almost have 200 packs, so I'm kind of taking a break, but I've tried over 20 different brands, and these are still the thinnest and my favorite for wearing out. That being said, if you guys have any questions or anything at all, just post a comment, and I will be happy to get back to you. So, that's it. Bye, guys.